Hey everybody, I'm vetting a new campsite to see how it looks. That's what I'm showing you now. It's called TV Tower Road. And if you travel to the top, there are campsites. And you get an awesome view. I guess you could say that. So here's one of the spots that is marked off on overlander.com. But it's kind of windy and it's apt to get windier, much windier. There's a front moving in. I've decided to head to the three spots that are further up the mountain, according to the map. I think I could do better higher up the mountain. By the way, on the left there in the lower corner, with the tent icon, that would mean I'd have to pay. So I avoid those. Okay, spot number four is supposed to be here, according to GPS, but I see no clearing. Oh, here it is. Okay, this is different. Hmm. All right, so the checkoff boxes. Uh, the first two campsites were a little too crowded. Uh, a lot of bikers and hikers and number one was taken actually by camper and three was beautiful view but so close to the edge uh, and it was windy too this one is right off the road but the final three spots are further in and i don't think the day trippers will be back here so being close to the road doesn't bother me too much. Uh, I like there's no wind. Uh, it's level. Good Wi-Fi. I might end up camping here. Here's number five, I'm guessing. I'll pull this. Yeah. Oop, the window's closed. That's okay. It's just a clearing. Very rutted. Uh. Number four, I like better than that. So we'll go to the top here. And so far, number four has got it. As the map shows, that gentleman with the long black hair has claimed the final camping spot, number six, but I'm continuing up the hill. Gotta see what's at the top. I'm sure it'll be windy and I'm sure the view will be spectacular if I can get one without any TV towers in it. Then I'll go back down and claim number four if it's still there. That's the vetting process. This is not a typical one. I had a lot of choices. Uh, and I still may change my mind. Okay, I'm pulling into a huge spot near the top. Potential. Wow. It's got Wi Fi. I feel like I'm hogging a big space though. And other people might say, oh, he's in there, but you know, there's a lot of room for us too. And I might get company at night. I think I'm going to uh, go to the top like I planned, but number seven's in the running. Wow. I think I see uh, the ocean. Oh. Here we are. Nope. We're not at the top. There's one more. Ha! Huh, here's one. This is probably going to be windy. Yeah, there's a top of the fire ring there. I'll get out and check it out. Yeah. 
Yeah, I did my little victory jump there. I found the campsite. We still got a little ways to go as far as getting to the top, so. I haven't seen any keep out gate yet or beware of electrocution or but pretty soon I'm expecting to see a vehicle I mean this is big enough they should have a security guard up here right Ooh, well, I'll tell you something we are at the top that's for sure And there's camp spot number eight, just short of the top of the mountain, TV Tower Hill. I walked up there that night and waited for the sunset. It was not windy at that campsite. I had the best of both worlds. Until the morning, it got windy then, but that's another story. I didn't want to leave this place. But, you know, what is it? What goes up must come down. The sun and my truck camper.